Um, okay, so this is Debbie Hill and Jen Friedland, and we're doing our Tuesday Lunch and Learn, and we're doing Ditch and Switch today. We are going to be talking about all the different products that you can, that you use at home on a daily basis, that you can now switch up, and instead of buying stuff from other stores and stuff that you're not sure about how healthy they are, that you can come to Young Living and purchase them right from yourself and right from that your company that you know and trust where you can get good quality stuff and you don't have to worry about checking the labels because it's all good and healthy and happy for your body. So we are gonna start talking about a few things. Um, we're gonna kind of go through like everything in your house and just kind of touch on it. We're not gonna go into big details, but basically I'm gonna start off with our bathroom. So in the bathroom, you get up in the morning, you brush your teeth, right? So instead of going to the store and purchasing um, a, a toothpaste at Whole Foods or even Walmart or wherever you buy your products from. This is Young Living's toothpaste. This is one of four different ones. This is Aroma Bright. This happens to be my favorite. And the beauty of these, they do not have any fluoride in them and um, no, what was the other thing? Sodium lauryl sulfate. Yes. And it is very healthy for your body. I don't know if you know, um, fluoride is good for cavities, but not necessarily good for our bodies. So it's a great product that you know you can use for yourself, replace it. You only need a tiny bit. Um, I actually, and they have a kid's one too, which is very fruity tasting. So you can start with the kids. My kids, when they were, they were 19 and 22, but I started them with this stuff um, and they didn't like it at first, but after a while they got so used to it they love it and they do not like like ones that you buy at a regular store now and when they have we're doing sleepovers all their friends would come and use my toothpaste instead of their own um you do get a lot out of this and then a little trick i use is i cut it open at the end when i can't get any more out of it and i probably get probably another two weeks worth of toothpaste out of this i'll cut it and then I'll put it in like a little Ziploc bag so it doesn't get dried out. And I'll use it for at least two weeks um, from what's left in the container. So don't just throw it out if you can't get it out of the top. So toothpaste and then uh, the mouthwash. You wanna cover some of the, mouth, the mouthwash? Yeah. yeah. All right, so they have a Thieves mouthwash. So this I learned the hard way when you get this, you're gonna wanna shake it up. So all of these natural products, usually you're gonna wanna shake them up because they don't have the typical uh, stabilizers and preservatives that are in uh, stuff that you'll see on the stores because usually those things are filled with a lot of junk that that just isn't necessary so the whole goal with this like debbie said is to remove a lot of things that are not necessary in our homes and by not necessary i also mean that they're um a lot of times hormone disrupting they can just start to retrain like our brain so we don't want those synthetics chemicals coming in and, and teaching our brain to do that so that's the goal of, of ditching and switching so the thieves mouthwash is one of my favorite things because it's actually formulated you can swallow a little bit of this if you're feeling under the weather it's really good to coat your throat um there's mine is not currently like this anymore because my kids took it off but when it comes it comes with a seal obviously it's sealed but there's a little pinhole at the top and if you just poke it then you can pour just a little bit in the cap without it like pouring out all at once. So it makes it really easy, um, but definitely do shake it up because all the oils and things do separate on the top. And if not, you're gonna get a big swig of like a lot of strong oils. Um, it definitely, like she said, switching, when you're switching from conventional products to Young Living plant-based products, there's definitely a difference. And depending on which product it is, you might have a little bit of a detox uh, thing going on. Taste wise, this does not have any alcohol in it too. So if you have any friends that are looking for an alcohol free mouthwash, it's also, a, you know, good for that. Um, I love it for my kids and, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh, you can dilute this down too. So when I put this in the kids, if you can see on the side, it says diluted. I pre dilute this in the kids bathroom so that it's ready to go because it is very strong and spicy. So ditching and switching also can be done on any budget because you can take these products and you can really make them stretch a long time. And they're very concentrated. Um, and overall, like mouth health, oral care, it's just a really good, Thieves is amazing. So I challenge you to go and kind of research a little bit more why. I know what I was saying, sorry. 
total squirrel brain. Um, taste wise, it's definitely different than your typical like blue green big bottle of mouthwash that you know comes with like a cap like the size of your head that you're supposed to do a whole swig. You just need like maybe this capful, maybe like half of it, and you can yeah. put it with water. Um, it's that strong and it will it will seriously last you a long time. But it's amazing. It literally feel, leaves my mouth feeling like I just left the dentist. Um, so I'll brush my teeth with the Aroma Bright. I like the whitening toothpaste that they have, the new one, and then follow it up with this. And even during the day, you know, you can take and put this into a little spray bottle and use it as a little mouth freshener on the go and keep it in your purse. All right, so back. Awesome. Can I just interrupt for a sec? Somebody's trying to get on and they can't get on. Do you have any suggestions of how she said it, it looks like I'm hosting another thing? You have any idea what I can do? So what thinking, is she doing? She was trying to, I guess, use the thing I've sent her in the past. Send her just the meeting ID and have her try to. Okay. Um, okay. I'll do, I'll do it. Do that. you want me to keep going so that you can help? Yeah. Her? Why don't you do that? Okay. That'd be awesome. All right. So next thing that you can do. So in the personal care line, um, and just so you know, we're going to mention this again at the end. There's these amazing sheets. It's a transfer buying sheet, and we're gonna share it a little bit, but we're just going down the list. So this is not like rocket science here. This is just literally going down your list or going room by room and thinking, okay, I already, the average person spends between 50 and $150 a month between personal care products, cleaning products, animal, pet, animal and pet are the same. Again, scrolling today. Um, kids, just all the things, right? Energy drinks, um, soap, shampoo, vitamins, supplements, all of those things. So if you're just slowly switching over where you're getting it from, so when you're out of something, you go and you figure out, okay, well, what can I switch it to? So this sheet helps because on the top, it kind of jogs your memory and it goes through toothpaste, whitening toothpaste, dental floss, mouthwash, throat lozenges. And then on the other page, on the back, where you've checked off what you're used to buying, it will then say thieves toothpaste, thieves whitening toothpaste, thieves dental floss, thieves mouthwash. So it'll go and tell you exactly what you can switch it over to. And then you grab your, your um, product catalog, or if you need some help, you can reach out to your enroller. Um, but another one that we love in the bathroom like are the, the shampoos and conditioners. Again, these last a really long time. So what I like to do in, especially in the kids' bathroom, um, is either- Oh, we lost you. Get frozen. Or put it and type it in when I stop talking, but it says oil. Can you hear me? Yeah, you froze for a minute. I don't know why every single week, like during this time, my internet decides to stop working. Um, I'll type it in the comments where to get those sheets, but they're really helpful. So um, in the bathroom, though, shampoo, conditioner, bath gel, there's bar soap, um, there's, you know, the chart, there's face cleaners and just any, anything that you're used to using, you can either buy it pre-made from Young Living or you can do a DIY version. So there's a lot of diversity there. And then there's a lot of just budget wise making it last. So I was saying that I take a little bit of this and I put it in a foaming pump. That way my kids aren't over dumping things um, and just wasting it because it is very concentrated. So they've even got bath gels that can double as um, soap, like a uh, so um, bubbles. So like if you're looking for a bath time bubble, these make amazing bubbles. Um, and the smells are all really fun. They even have a bath gel base that has no scent that you could make your own scent. So there's a lot of fun things that you can do there. All right, Debbie, you want to take over? Yeah, I, we, I, I was half listening. Sorry, I was trying to get her on. I don't know if you covered um, skincare while we were in there. Um, but I don't, we have the, um, facial scrub, the satin facial scrub, which is amazing, which is kind of reminds me of that peach one they sell at the regular stores, but this is a great scrub for your face for exfoliating, um, that I love to use. So when you run out of your own exfoliator, this is a great product to use. And I love the orange blossom face wash or the charcoal soap is fabulous for your skincare. Um, also, we have all kinds of creams and stuff. The sandalwood happens to be another one of my favorites. Um, so all kinds of things that you can, when you finish using the ones you've got on your counter and you're using already, just move those out when you're finished with those and look at what you can buy at Young Living um, to use for yourself. So that was like bathroom stuff, right? Are we done with, I think we're good with bathroom, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, there's skincare and toner and makeup and, you know, all the 
all the things there. Um, if we want to move on, we can move on to vitamins and supplements. So this is also a really good area. This could fill up literally your entire, if you were just doing the 50 PV minimum and a point PV is a point value. It's usually one point per dollar. So you could probably, you know, what you normally get at GNC or off your shelves at Walmart. Um, I really, really, really encourage you to look into Young Living's line of supplements. They are really top notch, amazing. Um, I'm just going to compare it to like, you know, one of the, the vitamin shops, but I would say they're even better because a lot of the ones in the vitamin shops, unfortunately, there's testing that they've shown that they um, are filled with synthetics and sawdust as fillers. So just like we want to be careful with our actual oils, we want to be careful with our supplements that we're doing. If we're spending a ton of money on something and it's filled with a bunch of just crappy cellulose filler that's just going to pass right through us, then that's not really helping our health. So having that quality and that seed to seal process that goes the same for our oils, the same for our supplements, the same for our dish soap and makeup and all these things, that's what makes this so easy. It's a one-stop shop for all of our needs, right? So I don't have to go, I used to sit at the store and look at the labels and be reading it and is this safe and is this safe? Now I have 800 products that I, that I vetted, right? With the seed to seal process. So if you're not familiar with that, Go to seedtoseal.com and really look into that a little bit more. Um, yes, and Denise added that uh, Danette, which is one of our upline diamonds, um, said that our supplements are bioavailable. So they're easier to absorb and they're infused with essential oils, which helps us to absorb 60 to 80% more of what you're taking. So when you're taking a supplement, your body can only take, you know, use so much of it as a time, at a time and then you're excreting the rest of it. So we want to maximize what our body's taking and holding in. We're spending the money and we're investing in our health that way. Now, um, I, I want to also speak really briefly on the fact that um, sometimes people are of the mindset that supplements are not necessary, that everything that they need and they get is from their food, where, you know, it's partly true. Our food is, our diet is very important, right? where we're getting stuff from, the most things we wanna get like food-based, nutrient-dense food into our diet. Unfortunately, unless you have completely vetted where your food is coming from, mm -hmm. the soil, if the soil isn't nutrient-dense and, and mineral-dense and rich and pulling up in, it, you know, there's, there's a portion that's lacking, right? And even in the organic world, our, our world is just not garden of even quality anymore. So that's where these supplements come in and that's where we have to just have, you know, add things in so that we can fully support our system. So um, even if you're starting with something really simple um, like Ninja Red and adding that in for your energy, um, for sustainable energy, it helps literally every single cell in your body. If you could just switch and, and start doing one supplement, this would be the one that I would highly, highly recommend. And again, I'm a big believer in consistency over intensity. So if you had to start with, you know, a half ounce a day, an ounce a day, whatever it, it looked like when my daughter was 10 months old, we started on this and I used to give her like a syringe full every day because budget wise, that's what I could do. But I did it every day. You know, when um, we, she's five, we have never, I've never taken her for a sick visit. I've only had to take her for emergency care. Um, so the things that we do on the preventative end definitely pay off in the long run. Sorry, went off on a little. Um, just sideways with the um, supplements. I was at a class um, years back and somebody was saying they took a vitamin C from, I think it was Costco or some local place and a vitamin C from Young Living and sat on the, the counter. And the Young Living one started to break down like within minutes where the other one just sat there like a rock. And if you think about ingesting those products into your body, yeah, you have you know <clears throat> more than just air breaking down the stuff, but how much is your body really breaking that down and utilizing it. Where with the Young Living one, you know that it is, with, again, like with the essential oils, that your body is absorbing it so much better. So it, it makes a huge difference. I, I never even heard the 60 to 80, that's huge. Yeah, I, I heard that a few years ago, um, a doctor, and I can't even remember which doctor it was, if it was, I think it was Tom Reed. Um, but yeah, their whole food, their nutrient dense, the plant-based with the oils infused. And like she said too, that oxy, you want, you want a vitamin or a food that's going to be bright. It's like taking a banana out and putting it next to like McDonald's French fries and McDonald's French fries in, you know, 10 years time could look the same and the banana is going to break down and disintegrate. That's what's showing you. That's a whole food. That's something that you're going to 
you know, you take it, you get the energy from it and you move on. Not, you don't, you don't want them just kind of sitting like a lump in your stomach. So there's a ton of supplements out there, everything from uh, vitamins, minerals, sleep, digestion, um, enzymes, like all the things. So definitely look into those. Probiotics. Um, mm -hmm. Another one of my favorites is the nitro. If you've ever done these little nitros, my daughter absolutely loves these little guys. A lot of B and CoQ10 in these. Um, and I love, I love liquid vitamins. I'm not a big pill person and I love these little guys. So um, nitro is another good supplement. It's almost like a five energy, five hour energy that you pick up with 7-Eleven or wherever, uh, but you're getting all kinds of good stuff and not junk. So <clears throat> they're totally worth it. If you think about what you spend on a cup of coffee at Starbucks or. Yes. And I just put a couple more in the chat. So like good subs for like energy drinks and then the Ninja Zing, it's like a good substitute if you're used to just like a seltzer water or a soda or something like that and you want to reduce sugar, a little bit of a kick there. Um, and then we have like an entire kids and babies line. So we have um, the shampoo, the tear-free shampoo. So the good news, the fun thing about these is that you don't have to have babies or kids to be using these products. Um, I don't have like baby babies anymore but I still buy this. Um, for one, I like to give it out as samples to new moms, um, but also my mom uses this for her dogs. Her dogs are like the hypoallergenic kind that need a lot of breeding and get the, you know, the stuff by their eyes. And she likes to use this on their face. So they do have like a specific animal, uh, like a pet shampoo, but she likes to use the tear-free. Um, and, and the benefit of switching to this, right, versus, you know, whatever other baby products are out there is that when those say tear-free, it's a chemical reaction. It's a chemical that they're putting in there to reduce the eye from showing that it's red and to reduce the irritation to the eye. So it actually is bothering the baby, but they can't communicate that. So they're just, that's why you kind of see babies like making this face, but they don't really like know what to do with it. It's actually hurting. <laughs> so, you know, like when I learned that, my mind was just like blown. So here I am thinking like Johnson & Johnson, I'm doing the lavender lotion and bath and she smells so good. I had no idea like the reproductive harm and then the fact that her eyes were actually uh, hurting. So this is a really good, easy thing to have on hand, um, you know, for pets or for, you know, for yourself or whatever. It's a really gentle cleanse um, if you have sensitive skin as well. And then they have like the diaper rash creams. So that's an easy swap. They have the baby wipes. Um, they have a baby oil, a linen spray. There's so many things. And the linen spray, you can take and turn that, you know, substitute for Febreze. Or you can be subbing out, you know, a DIY. There's a ton of DIY options. And they're really simple. It's just water, oil, spray. Super simple, right? So, um, and then the diaper rash cream, that can be, you know, again, you don't have to have a baby in diapers to be using this. Some people even use this for dark circles under their eyes, for hemorrhoids, for and just skin irritations, like a protectant, right? Just like you would for, for a diaper rash area or just any type of like skin abrasions or um, things like that, so. I also, I love the baby wipes. I don't have a baby either. And I use the baby wipes to remove my makeup. And also in my YouTube too. Okay, Ruthie. Yeah. Yep. And you can cut them in half uh, and make them stretch longer and then I, she does the same thing. And then I throw them in my dryer. I use them as my dryer sheets. So they sit out there and my daughter even noticed, she's like, oh, these clothes smell great. What is that? And it was the, the baby wipes. So I love having those around. Um, I use them all the time. They're great even to keep in your car, especially now when you're coming out back from shopping or whatever, using them on your hands. Um, so baby line, there are no babies in my house, unfortunately anymore, but I still use the products too. So. You want to move on from there. I, we talked about the energy shot. I was talking about that. Um, and uh, the cooling creams, right? So like uh, pain creams. I have this an old Cool Azul that a tiny bit goes a long way. So this is almost like a, a natural cream that you would use like Bengay or um, Biofreeze or any kind of coolly hot kind of a- Like the Arnica cooling. type. But it actually, um, not only masks something, this actually helps and goes deep and actually makes a difference instead of masking. 
So cool is they have the actual pain cream too. Yes. I was looking around to see if I had yeah, it, but it's in a white bottle. Front of me. And yeah. the newer ones have um um no <laughs> sorry, I had to distract said sorry I'm chatting so much. Please keep chatting. We love when people like add in. So <laughs> and I love that you're here. Um no, we love it. We love all the tips from everybody because I mean we're not experts here. Oh, here it is. This is the pain cream. I knew I had it close by because Patrick loves it. So this one, so these ones, um, they actually have the drug sheet on the back because I, I love, so they came out with the Cool Azul, the sports gel first, and then this is more of like a white cream. Um, so my husband loved both of them for, for different times for like post soccer, or you can even be using this like as a massage cream. So I love when they have, they really fought hard to get some of these drug sheets on the back. Yeah, so similar to, to the idea of pan away. So you could take pan away and put it in coconut oil and do that. Um, this has a little bit stronger of the methyl salicylate um, in the menthol coming from wintergreen. So they got, they proved that it was the same as like a synthetic version of those, right? It had the same effect on the body. Um, so again, but just without the synthetics. A lot of times when you look at pain creams like Bengay's or like the Arnica gels, they seem like, even though, especially the Arnica gel, that one, like, I don't know why it bugs me the most, because it seems like it would be like this natural, like, oh, it's Arnica, it's plant-based. But when you look at the side of it, even aloe, when you look at the side and the ingredients, they've got a bunch of coloring in there, they've got fragrance in there. So you've just kind of negated all of the benefits of the plant, right? When you've added in those synthetic fragrances. So you really wanna make sure that those things are not in there because it's like, okay, I'm gonna eat, a salad, but I'm going to put on a salad dressing with 700 grams of sugar in it. It's like, well, then why just eat the burger, right? I mean, like, what's the, what's the point there? So that's why it's really important to make sure that you're knowing what is in the side of here because they use a lot of green washing terms. Um, so be careful of products that tout like natural, um, made with this, made with that, right? Made with natural ingredients. Well, it means that it's also made with a bunch of other crap that they don't want to, they don't want you to focus on that, right? So it's like your craft macaroni and cheese when it says it's made with real cheese, it's also made with a lot of not real cheese, right? So it's the same same thing when we're talking about personal cleaning products. Um, and I want to share really quickly something that um, if you guys are familiar with Dr. Jim Bob Haggerton, that he shared one time that was really eye opening to me. So a lot of times I have people that. Um, really focus heavily on what they're eating, right? And what's in their fridge and what's in their diet. And I'm not saying that that's not important, but when he, he, he brought this perspective and it really set off a light bulb in my head, like if you're working on cleaning out your home, he said your first priority should be your personal care products and your cleaning products, right? Because the allowance of what the FDA allows to go into those products is so much higher. There's so much more regulation on food. And even though the regulations aren't that great on food, if you think about what the allowance is and what they're allowing to be in food, they're, they're much more stringent on it because they're saying, well, it's going in and inside your body and it's going in your digestive tract. And they're saying that things like your um, uh, laundry soap, and your cleaners and your shampoo and your conditioner well who cares what's in those because they're just going topically and they don't view that as something that's affecting your body but it is your skin is your largest organ so if you're pulling all those toxins in it's going directly into your bloodline so that's why and you know people think well, what's the big deal i just bleached my floors like well when they say also inside your home especially with all of us being home so this used to just be like you know, the work from homes, the stay at home moms, they have an increased risk of cancers because of the indoor air pollution. So you think you're cleaning your house all day long, you're burning your candles, you've got your plugins in, you're literally in a cesspool of, of air pollution, right? Right at locked in your home and you've got no ventilation going. So um, when you're bleaching your floors and then you're walking around on your, with no shoes on, your dog's walking around, your baby's calling around, all of that is soaking up into our pores. So he is like, if you just, if you do one thing in your home, kind of like I said, if you had one supplement at Nature Red, if you do one thing to clear out, like everything under your bathroom sink, your kitchen sink is switching over to that thief's household cleaner. It is also, I, I totally dare you to find a, a pre-made product that's cheaper than this. It's five cents an ounce. It's super inexpensive, clean as you'll come, 
super effective too. You can do all different dilution ratios. Um, I've gotten Sharpie off things. Like my kids have definitely put the cleaner to the test. <laughs> I can tell you that it works for all the things, um, you know, dirt and clothes and stains and all these things. So um, yes, a little bit goes a long way. They've definitely um, done amazing things with how concentrated their products are, but really look at cleaning up your personal care and your cleaning products first. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. I think that's the cleaner was as soon as when I learned about the oils when I first got introduced and then the girl told me about or my upline told me about the cleaner. I was like, okay, that's it. I'm in like, because this is the easiest switch you can make and it makes almost the biggest impact really on our whole lives. That's why I give this to everybody. I have little samples. Everybody I meet gets these cleaner because it makes a huge, huge difference. Um, and you can see this one, I put the top on. I got this off of a quart size bottle from the Dollar Tree and it actually fits on the Thieves Cleaner. So once it's empty, I reuse the bottle. So I keep these all in, in every car, I bring them to the gym and then I'm letting people know, hey, like use this stuff instead of the junk they're using at the stores and the gyms when we could go. Yes. Um, I was going to go. Oh, and then we were talking about just personal care and like wellness and health, sunscreen and insect repellent. Those things are horrible. I mean, those are we use every day, but in Florida, we use a lot of that. So Young Living's got their products. You can either make your own, a DIY on those, DIY on those, or um, we sell them ourselves. We have the um, insect repellent and the sunscreen. I actually take the uh, insect repellent and put it into a little spray bottle. And then I spray it out instead of trying to dip it out because it almost seems like I get too much. So I put it in a little spray bottle and then I spray it on my ankles and rub it in that way. And, and that works great for me. So that's a little tip on using that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Where do we want um, to Somebody was asking about bleach. So I kind of commented, but I want to make sure for those that aren't seeing the chat. Um, if you Google Young Living and whatever else you're looking for, right, or search in, the, in a lot of the usage groups, I'm sure that your, your upline has you in a group, um, there are definitely bleach alternatives. So you can do lemon oil peroxide, a little bit of these household cleaner. The sun is an amazing bleacher, okay? So if you've got, especially like in baby days when you'd get like the, the poop and rubber and you'd wash it through and like it would not come out, literally you put it in the sun, it's like a magic eraser. So um, use those natural um, aids, but our, our cleaners and things, you just use a stronger dilution of the these household cleaner. That does it a lot. You can do stained sticks. You can, you know, soak things. I've, when I clean out like my white sink and, and you know, to give it like a good wash every once in a while, I'll just fill it up. You can even do vinegar with some oils, whatever you have on hand. There's a ton of options there naturally. Um, and then while I'm talking about the kitchen, I wanted to mention a few of the um, cooking with oils. So I know we did like a oils in the kitchen thing, but we also, we didn't talk about uh, some of the pre-made like mixes. We have einkorn flour and pancake mix and gluten-free pancake mix, um, wheat flours, einkorn berries, cereal, syrup. We have pasta, we have rotini, we have um, granola, we have protein bars and protein um, powder. We have, so many things, herbs, spices, seasonings. We have like cookbooks and fruit and veggie washes and <laughs> dried fruit snacks. Like guys, we have so many things. I think that people don't even realize the amount of like options we have for just like, you know, simple snacking. Um, and if you haven't looked into it yet, the einkorn wheat is really worth looking into, especially if you're somebody who not like a true gluten allergy. If you have a true gluten allergy and your body just like a true allergy, obviously you're going to stay away. But when you look at the site, and I don't have the box right here, but there's a chart on the side of it, and it shows you how they've modified wheat over the years. And the einkorn is the original grain. So if you look at, Gary was super passionate about this. And one of the farms that um, I visited in Tabiona, where he's buried, has like huge einkorn fields. Um, because he said, you know, his dad was a farmer when he was younger, the wheat was, was so tall. And as he grew up, the wheat got shorter and shorter. He's like, I knew I grew up taller, but it was, it didn't, it didn't measure up. So when you genetically modify it, he was saying that when on the stalk of the wheat, when the wind would blow, the way that it was designed is the seeds would come off and they would regerminate. 
when they've genetically modified it, the seeds literally will not come off. They have to be mechanically taken off to, to regerminate. And so when you modify things and you change things, the molecular structure, and then when they start dealing with their body, that's where a lot of these allergies stem from and a lot of these skin sensitivities because it starts in our gut, shows in our skin. So when you have that, it's like this chain reaction that our bodies just don't know how to process this food anymore, which is why we need more supplements like essential zymes and we need more digestive and gut support. So a lot of it is linked back to like quality of the food, but unless you're you know, a farmer, you know where your stuff's coming from. Sometimes we can't ha you know, ultimately have all of the control, right? Unless we're homesteading, which would be awesome. But we do have tools that can help us and we do have things that we can switch out. So those products are really helpful to, to be a lot more gentle on the, on the gut, help us to do things. Um, yes, yeah, so Stephanie was saying her kids love the granola. It does not bother their belly. So if you look at the side of it, everything like used to have gluten in it. It's just that the modified versions, like this is the einkorn wheat on the chart, it's like this much. And like the regular wheat is like the gluten levels are just much more intense. So that's where you have a lot more of the gluten sensitivities, not a true allergy, but just like, you know, you get that bloated, you don't feel good, the weight gain, whatever it is. Um, so definitely look into that if you're somebody who's just trying to like avoid it. Um, and Denise said, baking soda, it's endless, unlimited. It's one of the ancient grains. Yes. So, um, all right. What do, you got? what do you got next for us, Debbie? Okay. So, the time is ticking. We are just talking up a storm and it's like, oh my God, the half hour is just about up. But we got to cover one of the best things about Young Living, which everybody loves, is the diffuser. I mean, we're talking about the toxic air in our house. Well, get rid of the candles because those are that little black smoke that comes up from your candle, that's a carcinogen. You don't want that in your house as much as I loved Yankee candles. They're sitting on the side for just in case I need it during a hurricane. And that's the only time I would actually pull those back out. Um, but the diffuser, and I didn't grab one to be able to unplug and put in front of me, but that is a great way of getting rid of the plugins that are super toxic and creating a healthy air in your house. And if you run it and it's going through your air conditioning vents and going into your home, you're breathing in and you're creating that atmosphere that is not toxic. Um, and it's limitless what you can put in your, your diffuser. I mean, the thieves to kill the cooties out in the air and, and make it smell fresh and clean. And I don't know people love um, purification or just the lavender if you want to relax. I mean, it's, it's limitless uh, what we can do um, with our diffuser. And that's, I mean, it comes with a kit. So it's a, that's so easy to just put water in it. And somebody was talking about a great little tip. They use their Ninja Red bottles and they fill it with water and they leave it by their diffuser so they can just easily fill up their diffusers. And I was like, I love that idea because it's just super easy. If you leave a bottle of oil and your bottle of water right next to your diffuser, boom, boom, within two seconds, uh, you've got it going. Um, I actually leave it on my bed. When I'm making my bed in the morning, I fill my diffuser. So it's part of my morning routine. Make the bed, fill my diffuser, it's ready to go at night. I hit the button and on and I go. A good idea. Anytime you can use, use that easy button, that's why I've got oils literally all over my house. Um, because I, if I want it and I need it really quickly, then I want to just be able to grab it, right? So out of sight is out of mind. Um, anything you can do to make things easier on your life, like filling it up, you know, get into that little routine, um, having the supplements, like having a special spot from having them out, um, just makes life easy, right? And then makes us be able to just quickly just retrain our brain because we're, we didn't grow up knowing how to use the things in the medicine cabinet or even under the sink in the kitchen. Like somebody taught us how to do those things, right? So we just have to retrain our brain to go back toward things that are going to serve us, right? And then once your, me once your mindset is there, then it's a much easier switch. So you first have to understand. So when Laurel was saying that her realtor suggested plugins and that she tried to educate her, Sometimes when you try to tell somebody something, have you ever noticed um, there's, there's two, two types of people, probably more, but like we're going to just talk about the two main types. You have the people that are like, oh, wow, I never thought about that. Tell me more. And they're open to it right, right away. Or the people are like, oh, whatever, that's baloney. Like my, I've been using candles for years. They're great. They're, there's nothing wrong with them. And then you move on and you're like, okay, you know, whatever. But if somebody is open to it, 
it, or, you know, have you ever been around those same people that like a few months later, all of a sudden they have this awakening and they come back and they're like, oh my gosh, did you know that candles aren't that great for you and that plugins do blah, blah, blah. And you're like, really? I told you that like months ago. Usually those people are in our family, but you know, whatever, <laughs> love them anyway. Um, but you just smile and nod and say, yes, and now please stop doing that because <laughs> it's really, really harsh on your body. Um, so, but having them out, having them around um, also shows other people like, you know, I had somebody uh, come in and work the other day and they said, commenting how good everything smelled and I had the rack in my kitchen and he goes, oh, those are so pretty. Like, that's so fun that you have all those glitters there for your girls. <laughs> I thought there were bottles of glitter. <laughs> yes, I love glitter that much that I put a whole rack of them in my kitchen. <laughs> so anyway, I got but to share with them really quickly what they actually were. And he was like, oh, that's a good idea. And then, um, you know, when you're in your home and you have these things, it's also like, so the hand soaps, right? They smell amazing, like amazing. So if you're somebody who is like, yeah, but I just, I love all the fun, fancy smells. I mean, we've got like Christmas spirit soap and thieves and lavender, we've got this, or you can even take your dish soap as a base, like when this is empty, and you can put a little bit of dish soap in there, water, and put your own scents and make your own smell, like whatever you want. Same with perfumes. If you're just, you love, you know, putting on perfumes. I, I have people all the time comment on how great I smell. You smell so good. What do you have on? It's, it's just my, I'm like, I don't even know what I have on at this point today. <laughs> like whatever I've dumped on myself. But you can make your own signature scent you know, you can do something simple and just grab, you know, lemongrass and, you know, have people put, put it right in their hair and turn their hair into a diffuser. So there's a ton of things that you can do um, that are just simple switches like that. And they are, they're so simple. Um, it's usually, so another thing Jim Bob says is health is simple. It's just not easy, mm -hmm. right? And we want to make it easier. And what we mean by it's not easy, it's not easy sometimes to, so how, how many times, raise your hand if you're like me, okay? I shouldn't be admitting this, but I do this often. I bought an Instapot because everybody, Instant Pot, I kept thinking it was Instapot, Instant Pot, because everybody was, do you remember like a year or two ago and every, it was the rage and everybody was like cooking all these things and they're like, it's so easy, it's so easy, it's so easy. And I bought it and it literally sat in its box for two years, two years. Like, why did I do that? Two years. And my friend came over and she was like, what are you doing? Like, open that up right now. And now I use it all the time because it, it is simple, but the easy part of just like, you know, we get in our rut and we get in what's easy and what's, what's, you know, and we, in my mind, I was like making it out to be a bigger thing than it was and thinking it was going to be this difficult thing. I literally watched two YouTube videos and I was like, fine. I mean, it's not rocket science. And the same thing with this lifestyle. Guys, it's, it, we're talking about soap and shampoo and conditioner and makeup. These are all things that you already even know how to use, right? So even if you're intimidated by, say, the oils and you're like, I just don't know what to use them for. One, you don't have to. That's the awesome part. God designed them to just be put on our body and our bodies figure it out. But even if you are, put it aside and look at all the other things in your house, right? You don't, no one has to tell you how to use a household cleaner. No one has to tell you how to use soap. You just use it. You just have to buy it. So the simple part and the easy part is just, just doing it, right? So just make, making that in your mind, saying, I'm committed to this. Like, this is a lifestyle choice that I am committed to doing to invest into my personal health mm -hmm. and my future self, right? Because it's a lot cheaper and a lot easier to work on your preventative health than it is to be chasing reactively, you know, after your health, once you're already sick and down. Um, all right, so we're at 1240, and I went off on another tangent, but we're so excited that you guys were here. We wanted to open it up and see if there's like a couple, um, maybe we'll stop the recording and talk about, see if there's any like questions that we have. Before we close out, um, I don't know if you've ever seen this sheet before, but it's which products do you use? And it basically lists just about every product that you would use during the day. Um, it starts with your personal care, kind of like what we just went through, toothpaste, mouthwash, skincare, vitamins, 
uh, your health, lifestyle, weight management, healthy cooking, pets, household, blah, 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 blah. You check off everything that you use. So you use toothpaste, you use deodorant, whatever you use. Then you turn the page over and it has every product for Young Living that you would replace it with. So this is a great way to kind of like check off, okay, these are the things I buy. And when I run out of my toothpaste, I'm going to buy one of these toothpastes. Or if I run out of my deodorant, I'm gonna now buy Young Living's deodorant because I know I can. Or I run out of my wheat because I'm making a lot of bread because we're staying home. You can now use your Icon wheat. So it's a great little thing. Um, if you don't have one, I'm sure reach out to either Jen or myself and we'll pop one to you um, because they're a great little tool to use. Um, there's also great books out there on um, ditching and switching. I know Sarah Harnish does a lot of stuff on ditching and switching. There's great information with her. And even Dr. Ali has a book on uh, ditching and switching and, and replacing buying on ER, how to kind of replace yes. all the yuck little by little by using your century wards. So lots of other options. I think uh, Jen might have a few other ideas as well. Yeah, I forgot to grab my book right here, but yes, look up those or reach out to your upline if you're still confused or whatever needs to be plugged in and I'll, you know, tag you in some posts or set you on your way. But use, you know, Google, Pinterest, whatever search engine you use. If you type in Young Living plus whatever product or thing that you're trying to figure out, um, it'll come up with, with um, a thing. And then I put the site for this transfer buying sheet in there um, in the chat if you need that. Um, and then and I know Kathy yeah. was saying Kathy uses it. Yes, it's a great list. I, I love that thing. Yes. And really then someone great. else said that um, they had a fridge delivered yesterday and the guy asked, can I ask you something that smells so good in here? And she said that it was for oils for that's from Ruthie. And it's so true when you have these products around your home, like people are going to eventually be like, oh my goodness, this smells so good. Where'd you get that? I want that too. Yeah, um, they kind of speak for themselves in that realm. Um, but go ahead and join us next week too. So we do these every week. So if you want to bring back your friends, it's for everybody, anybody that you want to, to join in and learn yes. more. Yes. And uh, I am uh, recording these and I'm trying to get them up. I've been putting them on my YouTube page. Um, I'm trying to put them on Facebook. I'm trying to get them to Jen somehow. We keep having issues, um, but they will be recorded. So if you want to share them with anybody, um, please feel free. I know this is out for everybody. Um, again, Debbie Hill and Jen Friedland, and we're here to teach you about how to change your lifestyle to becoming a little bit more healthier than it is. And um, I guess I'll stop the recording. I want to say I love, uh, Denise had mentioned that with the um, Nitro that she got her husband off of that five out energy Thing. And I was like, yay! I was like, just making those tiny little switches makes a huge difference. And then our, it's great when our husbands actually get it because so many husbands don't yeah. get it. You know, my husband's getting it. It's taken a couple while, but a while, but he's, he's getting it. So anyway, I'm going to shut off our recording uh, unless anybody has a burning desire before I shut off. And then if you want uh, to ask any of the questions, once we stop recording, please stay on. But, uh, Anything, anybody want to say anything before I shut down the recording? All right, we're good to go. I'm shutting it down and then we can talk from there.